Alrighty, man. The bike is almost done, finally. It's been, I started building this almost about a year ago, and uh, the bike is literally done. Carburetor is on, and I tried to short up the video a little bit. Uh, it might not be a lot of editing on this video. So, um, I run into a problem with the carburetor. Actually, I'm gonna uh, adjust the main jet, and I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. And I'm also gonna explain what problem I had for about a week it took me to resolve this issue. So let's get on this and uh, I'll show you what happened to it. Okay, this is a Cahen carburetor. The main jet of this carburetor is at the bottom of it. Okay, if you wanna take it off, you literally gotta take the bulb out and uh, then uh, the carburetor uh, jet is underneath it. But to adjust the carburetor needle, you release this cap, unscrew it, have the inside out and inside is, is a, a needle and that needle have a circle. Then you pull the clip and right there it'll be like five or six different little grooves and then you move this little clip into these grooves and it'll raise the needle or lower the needle and that give you more gas or less gas. After doing that for about a week, I only had about an hour after work every night to work on this. I could not get the bike running right. And what I did at one point is had it fairly running okay and when I will pull my clutch, uh, my choke, when I will pull my choke and choke the bike, the bike will start running really good until I let this guy off. Um, and I realized that I was having problems sucking up fuel. To make the story short, the cap right here, when I took it off and I start spinning this out, I realized how much fuel start coming down the hose. So this little thing here, it was clogged up and what happened, the bike will start, run for a second, and after that, the tank will hold the pressure and won't let fuel to come down into the carburetor. But when I pulled the choke, and the bike had more tendency to suck up fuel in it, it was struggling to suck up fuel and it will run a little better. So the entire problem that I had, it was on this being clogged and not letting air into the carburetor, into the tank, so pressure can bring the fuel into the carburetor. So if anybody go to any problem, maybe one of the best things to start with is make sure then you run your motor when you do your adjustments, maybe even with the car, with the um, gas tank cap completely removed so you have flow. And if it's running good and then you put this on and it start running bad, you know that it's a problem with air into the tank. Right now, it's running a little too lean because I have a popping when I load off my throttle and um, I know that that's running a little lean. So that's my main jet and I'm gonna adjust it right now so you guys can see how it gets done. So I'm gonna turn this counterclockwise like any other regular way to screw and unscrew stuff and under here we're gonna have a spring coming up first and to this spring it'll be attached the slider and with the slider it'll be the needle. On this side is the cable that is inside here and to take this off you want to compress your spring and wiggle this out for that plastic washer to come loose and want to hold everything together run this wire the uh, cable and push it out and then downward so these can come out having these out make sure that you hold these carefully so the spring doesn't pop on you and watch with the gasket that goes inside here having that removed right here is a clip that need to be pressed together remove and this needle it will come out I'm gonna do that and show you in a second okay so I have these uh, set of pliers that they have a square tip that is perfect for this and I'm gonna squeeze this clip and the clip came out right here now I can take the needle up and the needle have this little clip and right now, as you guys can see, it's on the very top groove. That means this needle is further down inside the carburetor main jet. So I'm going to remove it. So you're going to remove it and put it in on the next one down and press it back in. Now the clip is in. You can tell because it should, should spin freely into the groove and the further than the clip goes down the higher than the needle gets and because it's tapered and run inside the jet 
like this, it'll leave on more fuel if it run higher and less fuel if it running lower because it's thicker. So after that, it just go back in here, just like that. Then the clip goes in. Right there in the camera, the clip have to be clear of this groove because in the carburetor is a little pin then run this through for the slider to run straight inside. So if you put it crooked, it might interfere with that little thing that is inside the carburetor. So that's the way that the clip, let me try to get a good view, should look like. After that, just run the line back. Get the spring in, get the gasket first, get the spring, the washer doesn't have a position, that means it can be this way, can be that way, okay, and after that we put the cable into there and just slide it through and it's in, having that in. All what is left to do is take this back, right there, okay, and the gasket, was helpful and this is my 150 Piranha the bike is ready to take it to the truck and start riding I might shut a video so you guys can see how much power the thing is but it root about 50 to 20 feet on the lawn at my house got plenty plenty of power probably easy 65 67 miles an hour the bike is giving me right now and I haven't even geared it yet thank you for watching